Five years ago, TechSpark Academy pioneered digital education for girls and boys in Switzerland. Today, we celebrate five years of leadership, experience, and expertise. We've been selected as Switzerland's most innovative education specialist in 2020 by Corporate Live Wire. This year also marks five years of continued collaboration with Collège Champité. Hear what Philippe de Corrodi, Managing Director of Collège Champité, has to say about our partnership and the importance of digital literacy. I think five years on, we realize how blatant the need was for digital education. And uh, five years on, we can say that five generations of young students have been exposed to that. I've seen people being able to realize their dreams. I've seen, I've seen uh, students that possibly lack motivation in their more academic studies, finding huge motivation in doing that. So, and the good news also is that there are as many girls uh, as boys. We chose that it's not a gender-related uh, activity. So those are clearly the benefits for Champité and, uh, and the students. We are not fascinated by the means. We are fascinating by new technology in the sense that it allows the human to be better, uh, to be a more accomplished uh, human. We think the particular approach of Champité is what we could call digital humanism. Uh, learn how to control technology, make technology at your service, not the contrary, uh, while living, you know, a happy, a balanced life. And that means knowing also the limits of technology or the limits of the use of technology. It's about literacy in general. Uh, you, you can't be uh, literate, you can't be an educated person without having knowledge of, uh, you know, digitalization and the new technologies. I think there were many. Uh, one of them is the uh, a smile of Martha Gehring whenever she comes at Champité and sees her, uh, you know, students coming and at the start of a new uh, Tech Spark Academy uh, a course uh, or summer camp. The other thing I would remember uh, really uh, vividly was the visit of uh, Pedro Bados. He's the CEO of a uh, very successful company called Next Thing. What I found absolutely great is that uh, Pedro came here. He took the time away from a very busy schedule to meet with these young people, uh, you know, transfer something of his own passion, his own success uh, to the others. And uh, I think it's very important for young people. They need role models and he's clearly one and he was you know, at their disposal, he was kind, he was calm. I think he gave them a lot of motivation. And uh, I, I remember from my youth these pictures of people in the US who had the chance to shake the hand of the American president. I think Bill Clinton shook the hand of the American president at the time he became president himself. Something was transferred. And I'm quite sure that Pedro Bados actually, you know, transmitted some of his energy and vision to some of our young people here. Thank you.